Tennessee coming off a um, good weekend um, with a sweep in conference against Iowa State. Um, had a few good days of um, practice up to this point. Looking forward to um, here today and then getting on the road to uh, Texas Tech um, and uh, just continue to uh, try to keep getting better um, offensively. Um, been working really hard and, and um, trying to clean some things up. I think we're doing a good job there and, and um, um, looking forward to seeing how we can, uh, you know, play against Texas Tech. It's always been, been a place that's been a hard place for us to play. Um, uh, we've, we've gotten better there um, of late, uh, but my first years were, were, were rough. So um, um, looking forward to going there, playing, and, and um, again, just seeing how our team can respond um, to the offensive uh, adjustments that we're trying to uh, make. Hey, Coach, uh, just to piggyback off what you said right there, what challenges are you seeing uh, from Texas Tech? What are you, you going to see this weekend from them? Well, they're, they're just a team that's always really gritty and, and tough. Um, doesn't really matter what their record is. They're going to play us. Uh, they're they're going to play us very, very tough, very, very hard. Um, and, it's, and it's conference. So anytime you're playing conference games, it's just, it's just a grind. Um, they're pitching. Um, uh, they've got some kids. They don't, they don't have the, the velocity that some, that some teams have. So that creates a different challenge. I think we'd rather have the hard, hard throwing kids is what most hitters want. Um, so you're going to have to Ed, Edmund sends a, a left-handed kid. That's kind of crafty and uh, Zox, a, a kid that's a little bit crafty too. We're going to have to figure out, you know, how to fight them off and make some things happen. They're a team that's got some speed. Um, they bunt a lot. Um, they don't have a lot of power, uh, but it doesn't mean they can't hit home runs. So um, I think for us, it's the same message as we usually have. We have to play Oklahoma State softball, and if we do that, we'll be in good shape. But we have to we have to play as the as the chaser, not the chasey. And then uh, we said earlier the sweep of Iowa State; those were all close games. Those three conference wins on top of the two against Kansas. What's that doing confidence-wise for the team as you really get going into the Big 12 schedule? Yeah, I mean, anytime you're winning games, it's a good feeling and it's, uh, you know, it's good for your psyche. So, um, you know, we really look back and, uh, you know, we lost that opening game to Kansas when the game we made five errors. Um, haven't made any errors since, you know what I mean? And that's kind of the, the thing that's kind of mind boggling and makes you scratch your head, but um, it happened. It's in the record books. Can't change it. We've just got to continue to, to grow and uh, we're doing that. So I think just, just playing well is, is uh, part of that um, uh, continuing to um, grow offensively. I think that's the one thing that we're, we, we feel like we still have a lot of room to improve in. Um, you know, we're still hitting. Okay. It's not like we're hitting poorly, but I think we have high expectations for, for what this team can do offensively. So um, kind of like a can't wait to practice and I can't wait to play. I can't wait to see if they can implement the things they're, they're doing, but I think confidence wise, we're in a good spot. Thank you, coach. Got it. Coach, uh, one thing you told me after uh, it was, I think Carrie's game last weekend was uh, that it all starts with the pitching. Um, I think that with the pitchers that you have in your rotation, that, that might be a good thing. Uh, could you expand on that statement a little for me? Well, I mean, it, in 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 our game, pitching is the is is the key. Um, especially as you get into conference and postseason, runs runs are at a premium. And so, um, you know, when you have a kid like Kerry and Kelly and Logan that are getting the majority of our innings, um, you feel pretty good. And and that's where we kind of they set the tempo for us. They really set the, the mark. They, they, they just kind of, we kind of go, you know, as they go and, um, and I'm ready, for, I'm, I'm ready to take some, some load off of them. I'd, I'd like them to be able to, you know, cruise a, a little, little bit. And we haven't had a lot of those games of, of late. Um, part of that's conference playing bet, better teams and tighter games, that kind of stuff. That's just it. But like anything, like like when you get into Major League Baseball and you get into this kind of stuff and you get into the NBA, you know, at some point in time, the defense 
the 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 pitching all all this stuff takes over and and the best teams at the end usually play the the best de de defense or pitch the best and um and that's what we've got to do we've got to continue to hold that um continue to 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 be good there and then um just continue to play good catch behind them but um we kind of go as those kids go and um and we know that and uh, I was trying to maybe do a little bit of research, but I figured I'd ask uh, you because you probably have the better, you know, scouting eye and stuff than me. Uh, you know, how do you think that uh, your pitching staff this year kind of compares to the other teams in the Big 12? Or do you think you're kind of in that top tier? Uh, what, what do you think about your staff in comparison to the conference? Yeah, I think we have the best staff, to be honest. Um, I do. Um, you know, I, I only get to see our staff on a regular basis so I was kind of looking at numbers across the conference you know and and right now I think we're kind of lead everybody in that in that category so but you know I don't know that there's a better pitcher in the conference than Carrie she I think she's the cream of the crop um and then you start looking at uh, Kelly and Logan and what they've done um uh, feel feel pr pr pretty good not taking away anything from anybody else I mean there's there's some good good pitchers over to o OU in Texas and Baylor's got some veterans that they've got. And, um, you know, Edmondson at um, Texas Tech's been around for a while now and Zoc, um, who we're going to face this weekend. So there's good pitchers up and down in this conference, uh, but I, I, I love ours. I'll, I'll pick them any day. And uh, one thing I guess I'm uh, curious about for my own benefit, I'm trying to, you know, watch games and be as analytical as possible out there. Um, from the box, but uh, I guess, what do you think are kind of the strengths of Kerry and Kelly anyway? Like, you know, I asked uh, Kelly, do you consider yourself more of a fly ball pitcher or a ground ball pitcher? And it was after the game where only one ball was hit uh, to the outfield. And she said that she was actually, she thought she was more of a fly ball pitcher. Um, kind of what do you think about Kerry and Kelly? And maybe if you had to give a little scouting report on each uh, of your starters, what, what would you think? Yeah, um, well, Kerry's, uh, Kerry would be a, a ground ball pit pitcher throwing the throwing the uh, drop ball you know um he gets a fair amount of strikeouts um uh and and um you know she's really hard to hit though the the velocity's hard it's 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 in the upper upper tier for speed you know she throws very hard you know 68 to 70 um which is hard um care or uh kelly's kelly would probably be a fly ball pitcher she's a rise ball kid so um, so, so she gives up some fly balls. She has a tendency to give up more home runs because of that. Um, but she also gets a lot of strikeouts. So, um, you know, I like strikeouts who doesn't, right. They, they're, you don't have to play catch. You don't have to do anything. You just watch her do her work. So, um, they're a little different in that one's right-handed one's left-handed, you know, um, Kelly doesn't throw quite as hard as, uh, Carrie at this point. Um, she may g g get there at some point as she matures and, and grows and, and all that, but um, they're both very competitive. That's one thing they both are. They both are very confident in what they do. Um, they're confident in what their work is e e each day with John and, and um, uh, they're, they're two of the best in the country as their numbers show. And the last thing I was going to ask you about is uh, I'm just curious, what's your reaction to kind of seeing the news about how the regional host sites will be determined and uh you know do you think it uh it, it seems like you were uh, you know if it were purely on record probably a lock to determine the host site uh, i don't i don't know if you kind of know uh, what criteria they'll be using but what's your reaction to that news and do you think that uh you'll you'll be able to host a regional here in a little bit yeah i i think we should be a regional host without a doubt um you know what i mean so i uh, feel pretty good about that it's kind of an interesting um concept that they're doing um but uh hey it is what it is you gotta gotta play their rules and 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 do what they say so um i feel good about um our chances I mean, we're gonna know here in a couple weeks um so we'll see how that goes but um nothing at this point surprises me or or anything it just you just kind of take it in stride and do it day by day coach good to talk to you thank you thank you Hi, Coach. Um, just to kind of piggyback on on Sam's question there, for the regionals and super regionals, is that usually determined by ranking? Um, no, it's usually by RPI um, and that kind of stuff. Um, that's the supers. the 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 seeds are usually um, done by uh, our PPI. The rankings really have no play in this at all. So. Um, 
and and it's probably a good thing you know because the rankings are just an opinion you know i mean of some of somebody where the rpi has a little bit more um substance to it and and factors in so many many things so i i um you know i i i would i would be blown away if we're not a regional host um you know we've got a We've got to um, continue to win at a high level to be a top eight seed, to be a super regional uh, host. We got and that. That's a hard deal. It's very difficult to uh, do. Um, I think we're capable of that. Um, you know, we've only got five losses, um, but um, uh, you know, we've got to. You've got to, to be a to be a super regional host. We're going to have to finish you know, probably at least second in this conference. And we're going to have to beat OU in Texas and, and, um, you know, in, in Baylor and Texas tech, and, um, we're going to have to, we're, we're, we're going to have to play well. So, um, all that's in front of us and, and in our control. So, um, just kind of moving on now into, you I mean, you're six games into big 12 play. Are there any players that have kind of stood out to you, um, that, uh, that are playing better, than they were maybe earlier in the season? Uh, you know, good question. Um, you know, I think Kylie's actually been, 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 been playing a little bit better in, 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 in conference. I think Busby as well. Those would be the two that kind of stick out to me um, that are playing just a tick better than what they were in the regular season. Um, so that's been good. Carrie and Kelly have been about the same. Um, you know, I mean, they've, they've just been, kind of um, cruising along with what they do. Um, so feel kind of good about them, but I don't, uh, there's nobody that's for like, just like standing out going, wow, they're, they're way better in conference or, or ever. We've had a lot of consistent performances and people that are just kind of, Allison has been pretty steady, um, you know, and um, we, we need some more pe pe people to, to step up. I think, you know, Pennington as of late has been swinging the bat a little bit better um some better bats had it doesn't always get the um uh she doesn't have some numbers that that show some some things but but it, but it's had some really good at bats so i feel pretty good about her as well so we're uh we're we're on our way we're we're on our way to to doing some good things and and um to answer your your question again i don't know there's anybody's just like sticking way out um you know, Busby had a really good weekend against Kansas and just kind of had an okay weekend this last weekend. She got that big hit late. But um, other than that, was was just okay. So how does the experience with this team compare to maybe some of the other teams that you've been on or you've been a part of? Um, and how much does that factor into success as you go into conference play and then even into the postseason? Well, I think – as we, as we, as we, like, as I think about, like, one of the things I love about coaching is every year is a new year. Like it's a new journey. And, um, you know, this has been, this has been a really trying year, um, very re rewarding and very, a lot of fun, but it's been di di different than anything that we, that we've ever done dealing with, um, de dealing with like COVID and, and, um, I don't think, I don't think I could have, uh, I don't know what the words would be, but I don't think I could have guessed what, how this was going to, was going to affect us and how, what kind of effect it had on our kids um, coming back. Um, so it's just been a very unique year. And, and I really, it's been a lot of, a lot of a learning curve um, for being in our sixth year. You think you're kind of like, you got some things you're starting to figure out and, this year's been anything but that. We've 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 had to learn some things on the on the run and um, and kind of kind of work through all this. So um, I I think you know being in our six year, the experience experiences that we have really help us. Um, we continue to get better here. Um, we continue to um, uh, we continue to uh, get better talent. We continue to learn how to coach that talent, um, to manage that talent. Um, so it's just been a very unique year. And I don't know that the previous years could really help us with the, with this year and, th and this team, because it's just been so different than anything that we've ever done. 
Um, you know, we didn't get to do anything in the fall uh, like we normally do. We didn't get to go on any kind of trips. We didn't get to do any kind of team building stuff that we like to do to kind of hang out and get to know people like none of that got to happen. So you're kind of doing it, you know, like as you're on a bus ride and, um, you know, as you travel and stuff like that. And I, I've always, I've told you guys, I've always loved that part of what I do. Um, but it's been, it's been crazy. Like, it's just been, it's, 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 it, it, it's, it's kind of worn on us, you know, and not, not like we're worn out, but it, it's a different kind of wear and tear that, that we, that we've been used to. So, um, we're, we're, we're a really good team. We're super talented. We continue to become a better team team, you know, like we're a closer knit group every day that we're around each other. Normally by this time, I think we're already kind of hitting on all cylinders in that deal this year. It's taken a little bit more time to get there. Um, but, um, but we're getting there and that's, what's great. We're, we're getting there. It's just taking more time. And finally, um, I'm doing a story about about the stadium, uh, Cowgirl Stadium. And uh, I mean, I'm not going to beat around the bush. I've, I've done the research of all the teams um, in the top 25. And, and OSU Stadium is pretty small compared to, to the rest of them. Uh, how much would it mean to you if this new, um, you know, this new regime at OSU was able to, you know, get a new stadium for you guys and maybe, or maybe just add on, uh, how would it help you? How would it help recruiting, et cetera? Yeah, it's, um, you know, I mean, you've got your facts, so I guess not, nothing I can really say on that. Um, we, you know, we are at the bottom in this conference, um, you know, maybe in the bottom couple of schools, it's not like we don't have anything nice here. We've got a lot of nice things. Um, Coach Holder and I have, um, really done a lot of work to get some things going on this stadium and we're going to um we're going to build a new stadium and um with what you see over at obrate and all that stuff i don't think there's i that that, that was the best thing that could have ever happened to the softball team is baseball to get a new stadium like i don't i don't need to shy away from that like you know it we're going to build a softball field and we're not, we don't want to add on. We want to, we, we, we want to start over. We, we need to, it's, it's, you know, it's time. And, and coach Holder and Chad know that we've had a lot of um, really serious talks over the last um, month about that. Um, and I feel certain that something will happen pretty, pretty soon. And um, we've got a lot of room here with Ali P now uh, being, um, it's not being used. Um, I love this corner, so I don't want to leave this corner. Like I love where we're at, but if you want to build a new stadium, we're going to have to make some adjustments and move it a little bit because, um, because we, uh, we don't want to have to play somewhere else. You know what I mean? So you're going to have to be able to build a stadium while you can still play in this one here. So we need more seats, um to host regionals we need more bathrooms concessions visitor locker rooms umpire rooms we need a bigger press box we need um we we need a new field i mean our field is is as when you guys walk out and see how beautiful our field looks and todd tribble maybe the best sports uh or sports turf manager around um you see all the, these fields um this field is maybe the worst field around as far as drainage and everything like that, but it looks perfect. Um, you know, we, we just, it's time and we know that. So I don't want to beat, I, I don't want to beat on a dead horse here, but um, I appreciate you bringing it up because more people need to talk about it. Um, and you, and you bringing this stuff up is a really big deal to me. Um, in the same sense, I don't want to act like our people here, our administration hasn't done anything because they have, and you don't just build a 20, it's going to take 25 to 30 million to build a softball field, to build it right. And you guys know when we build things here, we build them right. Especially, I mean, and that's under coach holder. Um, when we build them, they're built to last, they're built, um, the, the money is there to maintain them, um, you know, after you build them, um, and I feel really good um, about all of this stuff. And, and that's why we turned some other jobs down when we had an opportunity to leave here. Um, 
there's no way. I mean, this is home. This is where we 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 want to be, and we know that we're gonna. We have the commitment. I've had that commitment from day one, so I've never felt like we've got the short end of the stick. But now in our sixth year, it is time. It is time for us to get serious and get going here because, uh, you know, new softball fields don't win cha- don't win championships, but 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 they sure do help some. Um, you know, players do. And getting kids here is a big deal. Um, having, f- f- you know, the facilities like we have here everywhere is a big deal. And so um, I'm confident that that'll happen sooner than later. And uh, I think you'll start to hear more and more talk on that here pretty quick. And um, I'm excited. I'm excited about our new president as well, Casey Shrum. Uh, she's a huge softball fan. She comes to a lot of our games before she was announced as as president and um, now that she's there, she's gonna play a huge role for us to, to help us as well. Um, it's probably one of the coolest things that we could have is somebody like her, a woman for our kids here, you know, to know that like anything is possible, you know what I mean? And and I mean, who would have thought that, you know, um, that this was gonna happen. And and so to have her on our side is a big, a big deal. We have a lot of allies. It's really good. And it's, and, and when the time is right, we'll have exactly what we need. So I appreciate you bringing it up. Thank you, coach. I appreciate yep. it. Yeah, coach, I was going to hop on here to ask you a few questions about facilities too, but Parker, uh, Parker got most of the stuff out of you that I wanted. So I just had one question for you. How, just how soon could very quickly be? It's a good question. I, I, I think it could be like, you know, real, realistically, it could be a, a, a couple of years. Um, you know, it takes time. We, we don't even have plans drawn up and that's something that we've got to do here fairly quick. You know, we need the support like, you know, Mr. Obrate um, gave for the baseball field. Um, but you can't really, can't really sell a dream until you have drawings and pictures of what things may look, may look like. So that's, I think the process that we're in now is how do we do that? Um, what do we want it to look like? Um, I told Coach Holder, I said, I don't, I don't need anything more than what Obrate has. I love it. I, I think we just need a smaller version of that. And, um, and I think he, he's in agreement on that. So I think you're probably looking at two to th- three years. Um, and the hard part is we're still gonna do some work here. In the meantime, we're gonna, I think we're gonna put up a new fence we got a nice gift for a new scoreboard. We're going to get that good going here re- really quick that we can move to a new place. Um, our scoreboard, if you haven't seen it, is not the prettiest sight around. So you guys can write about that as much as you guys want. I'd be happy for you to. Um, it's uh, it just what people just don't know. They, they don't know what they don't know, you know, and, and once people start talking about it and they see it, they're like, you know, they look around and go, wow, I, I, I'm shocked, you know? So um, I think you're going to see a lot of improvements to currently where we're at, you know, for the next couple of years until we can get, get something built. Um, but I think we're still two to three years out from really, you know, getting something done. Thank you, coach. Yep. My last thing for you is, uh, do you think the new scoreboard, is that something that uh, we could potentially be seen put in uh, later this year or uh, at the end of this season? I, th- I think it would be at the end of the season. Um, you know, we we just got a really nice gift that we're going to use for the scoreboard. Um, and, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that go along with a scoreboard, control rooms and different things that I never even knew were part of that. So, um so we got a lot of improvements that they're working on and going to make, but I know the scoreboard, that's something that we'll probably, I would think that we would have that for next year for sure, or at least the fall. Gotcha. That's awesome. Thank you. Yep. yep. Is that all we got for coach? All right. Thank you, coach. Thanks guys. All right. And we got Carrie on here. So I will go ahead and turn it over to you guys to go ahead and ask her the questions. Hi, Carrie. Hello. Okay. Um, I, I just have a, I have a couple questions. Uh, I, I guess the, the first thing I'll ask you is, um, I, I'm not sure if you heard uh, what we were talking about with Coach G, but uh, how happy are you to maybe hear that uh, there, there could be a new scoreboard in Calgary Stadium? 
Um, I mean, it'll be great. I don't think it'll be this year, so I won't get to experience it, but um, it'll be, it's a great stepping stone for the program. And um, I mean, we need one. So it's definitely a positive that it's a work in progress at least. For sure. And uh, one thing that I saw, um, I, I guess a little bit of breaking news we had over the week was uh, kind of how the regional host sites will be determined. Uh, I'm curious, uh, first off, kind of uh, how do you think it's, um, you know, uh, how, were you disappointed when you saw the news or, uh, you know, uh, I know record wise, y'all were probably uh, uh, in pretty good shape to host one. Uh, do, do you think uh, that could be a disadvantage if it's determined on other factors or where do you come out on that? Um, I definitely think we have a disadvantage just because our facilities may not be up to what the NCA wants. And I know everyone on our team was extremely disappointed to hear that's the approach they were going with. Um, I mean, I know they have to do all the protocols and, and everything, but our regional is only four teams and we've had tournaments this season with four teams. So it can be done here, but um, it's just a matter of what uh, stipulations the NCAA decides to use and hopefully they give, I don't know, give the best shot to people that we're probably going to host anyway. So. Right. Uh, how'd you, how'd you find out? I know for me, I, I just got texted it from someone I knew that covered, uh, that knew I covered the softball team. Uh, how did you find out about that? Yeah. My dad just sent me an article that he saw on uh, Twitter and then it got sent in like our players team group message so everyone else found out about it too but uh through social media for sure gotcha and um i'll switch to i guess something a little more on the field uh you know now that y'all are in in conference play how do you think that uh your pitching staff stacks up to some of the other teams in the big 12 i mean i definitely think we have all the pitching we need to compete with everyone in our conference um I mean, I think you saw it this weekend and the last weekend against Kansas. So, I mean, as long as we stay consistent and pitching to our potential, we'll be fine. And uh, one thing that I'm just trying to learn more and more about is uh, is to kind of maybe get the scouting reports of each pitcher and try and watch what I can from the box. Um, I know that Kelly told me she's more of a fly ball pitcher. Uh, Coach G told me that you're, you're maybe more of a ground ball pitcher. Uh, you know, if you had to give a, a little scouting report of Carrie Everly, of yourself, uh, what, what would you describe your style as? Um, I probably throw like 85% drop balls. So that's why I induce a lot of ground balls compared to Kelly, who throws a lot of rise balls. Um, and then I'll change feeds every once in a while and throw a rise in there as well. But um, definitely mainly drop. Coach said that you're one of the hardest throwers um, on the team and maybe in the conference. Uh, have you always been like that? Um, I gained probably like four, four or so miles an hour after my freshman year of college. Um, probably just from like gaining muscle and working out more and stuff. But I've had this speed for a few years now at least. Gotcha. Thank you. Hi, Carrie. Hello. So I just have some questions about uh, just kind of your your approach uh, when you're pitching. Uh, just kind of what are some of the things that you uh, try to do uh, against each team? And maybe what are some of the things that you've scouted uh, against Texas Tech that you're going to try to implement this upcoming? Um, well, Coach John's approach is kind of a little more old school than a lot of teams. Like we don't really watch as much film as, and we don't look at their swings beforehand. Like he's very much an in the moment, like what their timing is on me, um, what kind of swing they have. But most of the time, I mean, we go with what works for me. We work in and out and um, adjust to what we're seeing, like either where the batter's standing or where their foul balls are going, things like that, and just adjust in game. Is there a difference between, um, do some teams hit like you pitch drop balls better than maybe Kelly pitches um, rise balls? Is that something that you guys would make an adjustment maybe in game and maybe if, you know in the postseason, is that something that you look at beforehand? 
Yeah, I mean, I think there's definitely times where I uh, have to turn into more of a rise ball pitcher if that's going to be more beneficial for me that day, which I can do. And especially pitching usually the first and third game of a series, you got to look somewhat different the second day they see you, um, which definitely comes into play in the postseason as well. So, I mean, you have to be able to have a mix of pitches and command them all. Um, so definitely sometimes the game plan adjusts based on just how many times through the lineup they've seen me. So this being uh, your final year, um, just can you kind of walk us through just kind of your mindset? Uh, I know it's super cliche to say that try to treat every game, you know, like like it's going to be like your last one. But just kind of walk us through uh, again, just what you're thinking this year and and some of the, are you accomplishing your goals, et cetera? Um, I think all of us, especially the fifth years, have an, a greater appreciation for the saying like it may be your last because last year all of a sudden the plug was pulled and we thought our careers were over so I definitely go in like one day at a time one game at a time but obviously I came here with goals to compete at the highest level and make it back to the world series and have a shot to win it all and that hasn't changed I we're on the track to reach that goal we just have to keep improving every day um, pitching and hitting and I mean, that's what I came here for. That's that's the team goal. That's what we're gonna work towards. Um, and it's, I mean, it's exciting and you never know what's gonna happen in the postseason. but um, we're trying to set ourselves up to be in the best position we can come that time. And finally, um, just with the news of OSU hiring uh, Dr. Casey Shrum as the president, the first female president here at OSU, what does that mean to you? I understand that this is your last year, but what does it mean to you as a female athlete um, to see the school take those steps, especially with someone who supports uh, softball so much? I mean, it's amazing. And it she'll be a great advocate for us and all female sports, um, which is great for generations to come um, and maybe shifting the tides of the amount of respect sometimes we're given and um, Obviously, she deserves the position, and um, we're super excited. To, we were super excited to hear the news. Perfect. Thank you so much, Carrie. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Hey, Carrie, just real quick to touch on what you just said. You said this time last season you thought your career might be over. Was that what all went into that decision to use that extra year of eligibility you were given? Um, it was really a no brainer for me. I didn't get the chance to experience a possible um, postseason. So I, and since I only had one year here, I wanted to make sure it was a full one. So it wasn't, wasn't really a consideration not to play for me, so. Thank you. Okay, if I might jump in here real quick, I just had a one, th one thought that occurred to me. Uh, when you, I remember last game, you threw like 160 some pitches. Uh, is it easier um, stamina wise to throw a drop ball or a rise ball or is that difference uh, kind of marginal? Um, I, I don't think it really matters. I think it's just like you're used to what you throw predominantly. So um, it is what it, it is. Your stamina is your stamina. Um, so, yeah. Gotcha. Is that all we got for Carrie? All right. Thanks, Carrie. Thank you. And I will send this out to you guys like I usually do. And if you need anything from me throughout the week, just email me and I'll be here. Hey, Megan, uh, I have a quick question. Yeah. Uh, so 